What's going on, guys? It is the Coaster Battleman here, bringing you an awesome video. What if Kings Island was closed in 2017? Where would their roller coasters go? Now, I've been doing this What If series for a while, but Kings Island is quite a different park because they actually have some of the biggest and baddest Cedar Fair coasters. Not like bad rides, but some of the best. So, it is tough to find out where these really, really good coasters would be relocated to if they were wanted to be solid rides at other parks. Let's talk about Diamondback and Banshee. I think they should be relocated to King's Dominion. They're the two, two B&Ms of the park, King's Island, and King's Dominion needs some more B&Ms. Banshee would be a great fit at King's Dominion as they do need a tr a new school B&M invert and as well as Diamondback would be a great fit because they need an airtime filled hyper coaster, airtime filled steel coaster. Plus both these coasters are very smooth which is another reason why they should both be relocated to King's Dominion. Let's talk about the Beast. This coaster should be rebuilt at Worlds of Fun. Because Worlds of Fun, they do have tons of space next to page, in between Patriot and Mamba, where they can put the Beast, as well as some other spaces in on the other side of the park. So I think the Beast has a chance of being rebuilt here at Worlds of Fun due to the amount of land they have. Let's talk about Mystic Timbers. I think they will be rebuilt at they will be rebuilt at Dorney Park because Dorney Park they desperately need a new coaster and a GCI would be a great fit there. And if it was rebuilt there, then Mystic Timbers would have been only at Kings Island for just one season, which kinda stinks, but I don't know. Let's talk about Firehawk. I think it should be relocated to Valley Fair. Firehawk is an awesome Vekoma Flying Coaster, one of the best Vekoma Flying Dutchmans. It's better than Nighthawk, but not as good as Batwing. But personally, from my experience, it was a very fun coaster, and I really enjoyed the ride's elements, and it was just a solid coaster. And I think Valley Fair could use a flying coaster. It would be a great fit there. Let's talk about Backlot Stunt Coaster. I think it should be relocate to Michigan's Adventure as well as in Vertigo because Michigan's Adventure desperately needs a launch coaster and I think Backlot Stunt Coaster would be a great fit there. Plus they also need a coaster that goes forwards and backwards which would solve the problem with getting in Vertigo even though it's not the best coaster. It would st both these coasters, even though they're not the best rides at Kings Island, they would still be great fits at Michigan's Adventure and would Improve their depth a little bit. Let's talk about Flight of Fear. I think it should be relocated to Carowinds. And after Carowinds is top three, they don't have that good of depth because they do need a launch coaster. So I think Flight of Fear will be a great fit at Carowinds. Let's talk about the Bat. I think it should be relocated to California's Great America because California's Great America is a park that is getting better every season. They've been, in the last few years, they've gotten Gold Striker in 2013. In 2017, they're getting Patriot, which is awesome. So I think the Bat, if relocated to California's Great America, would improve their line, their coaster lineup a bit and give them a bit more depth. But unfortunately, there's two solid roller coasters that will be torn down, Racer and Vortex, and any other coasters that are smaller and no one really wants, should just be torn down completely. But overall, I think this would be a cool, this would be a solid fit for, yeah. But, like with Racer, Vortex, any of the, these other coasters, it would just be torn down, no one would, would get them, and they would just be now no longer operating coasters. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'm making a crazy what if video about Cedar Point, so stay tuned for that.